I feel like if you're not using multiple screens on your Gospel Library app, you're you're spending way too much time go, trying to find the material you're going to use. And so I've instructed my students and given them direction on how to do this. And this is this is a really easy way to do it. Using multiple screens or multiple tabs, if you want to call it that, um, in your Gospel Library app will, will save you a lot of time. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Really easy. At the very beginning of class, let's say we're talking about marriage and family as a doctrinal topic. I'll give them three different references. I often tell them how to find them, like the plan and proclamation, Elder Oaks um, from 2017 October conference or family proclamation. I'll tell them where to find those things. But I'll give them those three references so they know exactly what they need to have open at the beginning of class in order to participate fully in the discussion and have their material ready. So let's jump into the Gospel Library app and see what that looks like. So what happens at the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, there's the bookmark button. Um, we're not going to use the bookmark. I want you to use those three different squares. And as you do, um, you're going to hit that button and open it up, and you'll see it says we're in the library right now. Um, we're going we're gonna to just leave that open. I'll just hit library again and bring it back to the main screen. I'm going to go into the Book of Mormon. We know we're going to be in Alma 39.9. As we get to Alma 39.9, you're going to see that it's already highlighted. We're ready to go. Good. Everything's ready. Now, we still want to open up those other two um, references. So you're going to go back down to those little boxes on the bottom right. Um, you'll hit that box, and then you're going to hit the plus sign to open another screen or another tab. As you do, it brings you into the Gospel Library app again. You're going to go into the General Conference, October, find the plan and the proclamation, Dallin H. Oaks, um, then you've got all the references there that you can use for the talk. Last but not least, you're going to open up those boxes again, press the plus sign. That's going to let you open up so you can go down to the individuals and families and the family proclamation. Now you have three different sources at, at your fingertips very, very quickly. Go down to those little boxes in the corner again. And you have three different things you can open up. And you can open up one by one. It takes you right to where you left off on the page. Um, and so now you can easily jump between the three different things you're discussing so that you can have all the references ready. Hope that helps. Um, it should save you a lot of time. And it makes it really super easy when you start cross-referencing these things together. So hope that helps. Have a good one.